Hi, how's it going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. Uh, a few months ago, I did a React uh, Firebase authentication video using Google sign-in and I figured I'd do an updated video to that using Firebase version 9 and also go through some of the recent updates in Firebase version 9 with you. So I'll begin by creating a new React project. So I've uh, created a folder here and then I'll just cd it into it. So I'll run npx create react app and then i'll just call my app uh, google sign in i will probably do more videos going over the other authentication methods provided within firebase then for now we'll just give this a moment or in the meantime uh, let me head into my firebase console and create a new project say Google sign in. I also have another video going over React Native uh, Apple sign in. If you're interested in that, you can check that out as well. And then here we'll just click continue. Uh, no need for Google Analytics. And then we'll just create project. Then we'll just wait for both of these to finish. Okay, so that's done. I will go ahead and click continue. And we'll just set up uh, the web application. We'll give it a name saying we'll sign in and register app. Okay, we'll skip this. Uh, we'll go over to NPM and install Firebase from the once our uh, application is done here. Okay, so our React app has been set up. Uh, let's just CD into it. And then let's open this in VS Code. And then run npm start. Okay, so we seem to be getting this weird error here. Uh, let me run npm update. Okay, uh, let's just try running npm start once more. Okay, there we go. So if you do encounter that error, just run npm update and it should fix that. Okay, so next up, uh, let's perhaps install uh, Firebase. And then let's set up a Firebase config file in our source folder here. So I'll just uh, create a new file, call it firebase-config.js. Now, if we go over the uh, Firebase config file, as you can see here, our import is initialize app. And then uh, when we do initialize the app, we just need to pass the, this method here. I mean, call this method called initialize app and then pass our Firebase config. Previously, would import Firebase and then call Firebase.initialize app. So that's one of the changes, I guess, uh, in version 9. So let's import this line here. And then we'll get our config if we just head back to our Firebase project under project settings. We'll just copy this bit here. Paste it in there. And then initialize. So this is the same line as this here. So we'll just copy that and paste it in there. Now, if you go back up here and click on Upgrade Guide, you'll be uh, sent to this documentation here where you get to see the differences in uh, Firebase version 8 versus Firebase version 9. Okay, uh, so let me close that. So what we're interested in is the Firebase uh, Google authentication. So what we need to do is just search Google, or rather Firebase, Google sign-in. 
then uh, the first link that should pop up should send us to this uh, documentation here. So in the previous video, I was using uh, this version here, which is version 8. And today I want to go over version 9 instead. So what we need to do is uh, maybe let me go into my app.js and then just uh, change that a bit. Uh, let's remove this. And let me just add a button here. Just say click me. Then uh, I'll create a function. Call it sign in with Google. So on click, we'll then call sign in with Google. So what we need to do firstly, if we head back to Firebase, as you can see here, when we uh, want to call Firebase Firestore, we need to call get Firestore first, uh, which we import from Firebase forward slash Firestore. And then from this get Firestore, that's when we can call uh, collections and get docs and all of that kind of stuff. So from here, uh, what we need to do, if I head back here, we need to call get auth and do pretty much the same as uh, what's being done here with the get Firestore. So back here in Firebase, we'll create a new variable, call it authentication which will be equal to, uh, if we head back to this line here, uh, it will be get auth. And then here we'll pass uh, Firebase, no, not Firebase config, app instead. And we need to import this as well. So we'll just add this line to our Firebase config, and this is what we're going to export. And then in our app.js, that's where we'll import authentication. So we'll call import authentication from Firebase config. And then in here, uh, it's just a matter of following the steps here as well. So if we scroll all the way down, uh, we'll just call, I will first need to import uh, sign in with pop-up and Google provider. So copy this line as well. And we can remove get auth here. And then we can just call sign in with provider. And then here we pass our authentication. And our provider in this case will be Google provider. But first uh, we need to create our provider. So yeah, uh, we need to create this variable here. Uh, we can just edit there. So that will be our provider. So it says sign in with pop-up and then we'll just call then. So after the user is signed in, uh, we can console log the result. If not, we can uh, catch the error as well. So here in your Firebase application or your React application rather, uh, you just handle the sign-in state here. So if the user is signed in, uh, then you'll do whatever uh, needs to be done in terms of directing the user to the uh, dashboard pages or whatever pages they need to be directed to. So let's test this out. Uh, let's run npm start here. Okay, so we have this click me button. Uh, let me just open my console. So if we hit click me, uh, as you can see, uh, we have an error here. What does it say? Oh, we need to enable uh, Google sign in our application. So authentication, get started. Mm, providers, oh, I see they also changed the UI here. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's select Google and click enable and save ok 
Okay, so that's enabled. Uh, let's just run that again. Click. Okay, there we go. So now we have the Google uh, pop-up coming up. And then uh, here, if we're signed in, okay, so first maybe let's uh, execute this catch error. So that means, uh, let me just close that. Then we should get an error saying uh, user closed, blah, blah, blah. So these are our error. And then let's try signing in again. And then what should, what this should return is all the user data that we need. So user credentials, we have, uh, let's see. We have the access token, display name, email address, basically all the details relating to the user in this case. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it with uh, Google Authentication and the Firebase version 9.